Hey guys, it's Mary Muse here. Um, today I'm going to be talking about TMS or transcranial magnetic stimulation. Um, if you have watched my videos before, which I hope you have, you know that normally I have a very uh, flamboyant makeup on, my hair is done, uh, and I'm in a very chipper, happy mood. TMS is a procedure used to help combat depression, and depression for me happens at nighttime. It is currently 8.30 at night, and this is when I have my downtime. In the morning, you know me as being chipper and alive and alert and, and funny and cute and whimsical. Um, at nighttime, that's not how I am. This is how I am at about four or five o'clock in the evening. I go downhill and this is what you, it looks like and this is why I'm doing CMS. So I'm going to be going over how TMS works, how it's different from ECT, uh, electroconvulsive therapy, if you've seen that video that I've done. And again, this is all my experience. Other people have different experiences. Other people have different perspectives on it. I just had my first session of TMS yesterday and I will be doing a check-in video at my three week mark, which is my halfway mark and at my concluding six week mark. So how am I feeling right now? Cause I'm going to be doing all of these videos at night. So that way you can get a fair judgment of how recovery looks like from depression for me, uh, through TMS at nighttime, starting, like I said, around four o'clock, five o'clock, I start going downhill, a very quick and steep slope. I am consumed with self-hatred. I feel like I'm absolutely drowning in sadness. I am filled with hopelessness. I'm antisocial. I don't reach out. I prefer to not even have dinner with my family. I just stick in my room. I don't have dinner with them. Speaking of not having dinner, I have a hard time eating and I come from a background of a struggle with disordered eating, specifically anorexia. My anorexia uh, inclinations are triggered around this time of night. Dinner is hard for me. I feel numb. I have a completely flat personality. As is evident now, I'm certain when I watch this video again. Uh, I have self-harm inclinations. I haven't self-harmed in in over six months but I definitely have urges at this time of night when I'm depressed I sleep usually around this time eight o'clock until between one to four in the morning so it's not a good range of sleeping hours and it's not a good number of sleeping hours due to depression. I am utterly exhausted and I'm not inspired, not creative, hence no makeup. My hair looks like a skunk in heat. <laughs> oh God, why am I doing this? <laughs> okay. So TMS is transcranial magnetic stimulation. Um, and, and again, this is my experience and my perspective and my understanding of how things work. So how it works, it's for drug resistant patients who are not responding to at least one medication of antidepressants. For me, I've gone through every single antidepressant the FDA has approved for depression to no avail. I've done three series of ECT, which I again discussed in another video if you look at my channel. How it works, they use biomarkers. They do a process. You have a strip going along your brain. That's your motor cortex. And on that strip, 
if I could show pictures on here, I would. I have a pamphlet on my phone. Um, um, starting from the center, because you have two hemispheres of your brain. Starting from the center of your hemisphere, the right brain correlates to your left-hand side of your body. Your left brain correlates to your right-hand side of your body. The goddesses that created us switched the wires up when they were making us, I like to think. Anyway, so from the center of your cortex is um, like your body and your trunk. And as you come out um, on this, this strip um, on your brain, it goes to your arms, to your hands, to your face. And when I'm referring to all these places, like that's where you have your muscle control. That's where you have your nerve endings. So when you can feel your face right here, when you touch your face, that's somewhere over here, like right above your ear um, on your brain is a strip that corresponds to being able to move my mouth muscles and being able to feel my skin. What they do is they know where that strip is on your brain. And so they use a, uh, a magnet and they use magnetic waves. They use a coil and they place that coil on your head. Um, if you want to see better images and like a video of this, you can go to www.neurostar, N-E-U-R-O-S-T-A-R.com. I'll put the link down below. And in there they show you, that's the specific mach TMS machine I'm using. I'm sorry if this is scattered. I'm really out of it right now. Um, anyway, so they use a coil and they just painlessly kind of zap you. And so they, 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 they zap this side of my brain. And so like they, they zap it and my right leg kicks <laughs> painlessly. It's actually kind of cool how they do it. And then they narrow it down and they get my right arm. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to narrow it down so that they can pinpoint specifically where your right thumb twitches. That's called the, the hitchhiker's um, twitch where you're sitting there like this, I'll do it like this, and you have, your arm is steady, but your fingers and your hands are completely loose, and all of a sudden your thumb will just twitch, and they know, ah, that's the sweet spot. That's where we wanna be. And they know that five centimeters forward from that position is where your prefrontal cortex is, the specific area of your prefrontal cortex is. And that's the area that they, Believe because just like ECT, they don't really know what the hell they're doing. They just know that it works, but they don't know how. And so they have a hypothesis that this specific area in your prefrontal cortex is understimulated. And that's what medication tries to do is it tries to either, um, when your nerves talk to one another uh, and transmit electricity, communications, uh, drugs either increase the amount of talking devices or increases the, the recepting uh, receptors so that this can uh, receive more of the talking devices. In two other ways, there's four ways the drugs work to try and increase communication between nerve cells, trying to increase communication, increase stimulation. This is more of a hardcore approach, definitely less invasive than ECT. So let me get back to it. They, they, they stimulate the prefrontal cortex and the, the metaphor that they use is rebooting your system. And they're just trying to kind of like, hey, wake up, snap to it, clap, clap. Um, and it's uh, painless. When they finally find the sweet spot, they make those numbers and adjustments so you don't have to go through that like adjustment period again. Because the first time that you go in, it takes like an hour and a half for them to find all the biomarkers to be able to do all of this stuff. And then when they finally find the biomarkers from that point on, it's only 37 minute sessions. And how the sessions go is you go in and you sit down and they put the coil up to your head where they are, you know, exactly where to put it. 
and then they do it's a 37 minute for me it's a 37 minute series where every 30 seconds they zap you for four consecutive seconds straight that doesn't seem like a like a lot of time but when you're constantly being but infinitely faster like because you can hear the clicking it, it feels like have you ever had a bad habit and you put a rubber band around your wrist and when you feel inclined for that bad habit like smoking let's say oh someone wanted to come over and say hi this is blue anyway come here kid when you have a bad habit and you take that rubber band you snap it and you get that that stinging sensation in that little tiny little square inch section that stinging feeling that you feel it feels like that being delivered by a woodpecker but in like 80 different areas in a patch about so big and so it, it's not painful like I, I I can bear it I don't need any drugs or medication to subside it but it definitely is not the most I wouldn't sign up for it for pleasure shoot <laughs> um so yeah and uh i do this for five days a week uh monday through friday at the same time because i want to keep it regimented like to a t to keep variables from happening I, I continue taking my medication while i'm going through this and uh, again i'm sorry i'm just really out of it um, it'll be interesting to see at the six week mark and at the, the three week mark how much different my personality is from this video as compared to the next video and the next. And so I, I do this every 30 seconds. They zap me for four consecutive seconds. So it's two times a minute. So two times 37 is 74. It's a lot. Uh, it's not that bad. The lady who does the procedure for me, because it's originally prescribed by my psychiatrist, and he comes in and does all the biomarkers on me. But uh, it's another technician who actually does it. Cats are like kids, I swear to God. Uh, <laughs> not that I know, but God. So... Yeah, uh, what's the difference between ECT and TMS? ECT is much more invasive. It is an electroconvulsive therapy, so they're inciting a seizure using an electro uh, elect electronic waves, electronic energy, and it's completely generalized. They don't really have an entrance or an exit. Well, they do. The entrance goes in your temple and then it comes out the top of your head. And it stimulates every friggin' neuron in your entire brain. Uh, it's been around since uh, the 1700s. It was approved in 1948 in the United States, if I'm correct. TMS is much more expensive so much fewer insurances cover it. It's, um, it's localized. They can pinpoint exactly what part of the brain that they want to stimulate to be able to give you the best results so you're not bombarded with other symptomatic issues. The TMS uh, has a... 68% chance of a 12 month later of their patients still being in remission, whereas ECT only has a 13% rate. And both of them, you are encouraged to go in for routine reboots, which are just like one or two sessions. So for ECT, that's one or two surgeries where they put you under. Whereas TMS is more expensive, but you can drive there, you're done 30, 45 minutes, and you leave by yourself. <laughs> Real easy peasy. 
And yeah, that's uh, those are the, the percentages for total remission from symptomatic issues at the 12 month period. So that is all that I have in my notes. Again, thank you for bearing through this. I really appreciate these 15 minutes and three seconds that you've stayed with me. I feel like absolute crap. I'm gonna go to bed. It's almost nine o'clock. I will talk to you guys later. Y'all have a great day. See you in three weeks.